Hey guys, this lesson will be on um, um, metal spheres and such, such um, how they react to electric fields and stuff. Well, okay, it's pretty common knowledge that metals are good conductors, and um, what a good conductor means is that it has a lot of electrons to like flow everywhere. They're not held down, so they don't become dipoles. They just kind of have electrons. That's why, why when you have like a battery and like a wire, like the electrons just like flow right through because they're they're not really bound down to the metal. So anyway, let's say we have a plastic ball over here, and this has a uh, let's just give it a negative charge. So let's just say it's negative one nanocoulombs, and then we have our metal ball over here, or. Uh, yeah, metal ball over here. Um, so, uh, what's going to happen to this metal ball? Well, um, if this is negative, then all your electrons will move to the side. So, let's draw a little diagram here. So, this is again is our negatively charged plastic ball, and our metal ball. What's going to happen is all the metal, all the, uh, since it's neutral, all the negative charges are going to go over there, and all the positive charges will remain on this side. Not, not to say it's dipoling, because that's kind of what it looks like, but it's, it's not dipoling. It's just all the, since the electrons are so f free to move, they all just like kind of get repulsed uh, that way. So it's not that like you know all the New, uh, nucleuses are shifting over here. It's just there's very little electrons over here. They're all over here, so there's positive charge. But remember, it is neutral, so this, so the number of positive charges need to equal the number of negative charges. Now, a good uh, important thing to remember is um, inside a metal ball, the electric field will always equal zero. And here I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's look at um, a couple different drawings. Let's uh, say okay inside this. Inside the metal uh, sphere, we're just looking at it. I'll draw the uh, E field due to this, um, due to the negative charges of this. It's going to be uh, towards it, right? Because this is just going to be, this is, since this is a net negative charge, then the E field induced by it is just going to be a bunch of arrows pointing this way. So the E field induced by it is going to be this. While the uh, charge due to this, if we just look at this now, we don't pay attention to this, it's going to be a net um, E field this way because the negative charge is over here and the positive charge is over here. And it's kind of like, you know, how we had the disk of the positive disk here and the negative disk here. And you, you have like just a net charge that way. So the charge from the metal can be pointing this way. So there's going to be a net zero uh, charge inside the sphere at all times. So no matter what is going on on the outside of the sphere, there will always be a net zero charge in inside the sphere. And that's a really important concept in this. So make sure you uh, understand that. If you have any questions on this, uh, please feel free to um, send me a message and I'll get back to you. Or really any questions about physics at all. So um, I'll see you next lesson.